In this video, we're going to take a look at how you perform a reset on a Synology NAS. As the procedure we're about to demonstrate, we'll return the network settings and admin account back to their defaults. Typically, you would perform a reset if you've forgotten your administrator's login credentials or if you are no longer able to access your NAS because of changes that you made to network settings. However, before we start, please note that while this reset procedure will leave any data stored on your Synology NAS intact, because this procedure is very similar to reinstalling the system software, we recommend that you perform a full backup of all of your data before trying to reset your NAS. For this example, as you can see, we are no longer able to access this station manager because we've forgotten our administrator's credentials. So to perform a reset, we're going to need to use the reset switch, which can be found on the back of our NAS. After locating the reset switch, and with our NAS still powered on, we need to use some sort of reset tool to gently press and hold down the reset switch for roughly four to five seconds, or until we hear a beep. When we release the reset switch, our NAS will reset this station manager so that it uses ports 5000 and 5001. Our NAS will also revert to using the default admin account, along with resetting the IP, DNS, gateway and network interface settings so that they all use DHCP. All firewall rules, PPPoE settings and auto block will also be disabled, which means that after performing a reset, you will need to check these settings on your NAS. Let's try to once again connect to our Synology NAS. As our NAS is no longer using a static IP address, we first need to find out which IP address the DHCP server on our router has assigned to our NAS. For this, we can try and use either find.synology.com, the Synology DS Finder app, or a network scanning tool. In this example, we're going to use a network scanning tool called Wi-Fi Man. If from within Wi-Fi Man we select Discovery, Wi-Fi Man will scan our home network for devices and display the IP address that our NAS is using. Now by entering that IP address into our web browser, we should be able to log back into the station manager. However, as our NAS has now been reset, in order to log into the station manager, we now need to use the default credentials for the admin account on our Synology NAS. So we're going to enter the account name of admin, but leave the password field blank. When we select sign in, we're prompted to change the password to our administrator's account. After selecting submit, we can once again try and sign into the station manager using the admin account and its new password. Once we've logged back into the station manager, because the admin account has been reactivated, we are presented with an introductory walkthrough of Distation Manager. After completing the walkthrough, because the administrator's account and the main network settings on our NAS have been returned to their defaults, we now need to reconfigure our NAS. If we open Control Panel, we first need to enable Advanced Mode. As it will depend on how you previously had your NAS configured, we recommend that you check all the settings in Control Panel. So for example, if like us you normally disable the default admin account in favor of a new administrator's account, you need to check the setting user and change the password to the administrator's account that you normally use. You would then need to disable the default admin account that was activated by the reset. You will also need to reconfigure external access as these settings will have been reset. However, as external access works best, if our NAS has a static IP address, you should also check network as your NAS will have been reconfigured to use DHCP. Finally, we recommend that you check all security settings on your NAS, especially your firewall, as this will have been disabled as part of the reset process. <laughs> 